Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On this video, I'm going to talk about the uh, the angular subject and angular uh, behavior subject. So let's begin. So I have the project which is running on localhost 4200 and this is my the project called toolset. And on this project, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the first thing is I'm going to remove the, all the code of the HTML and I'll just type as test here and after that uh, i'm gonna go in my console here and i'm gonna generate the two component and the first component is, is going to be header so ng generate a component and i'm going to generate a header component and uh, after generating the header i'm going to generate the uh the home component okay and I'm going to also generate the service which I needed uh, to send a message from uh, one component to another one. So the message, uh, the name of the service is going to be a message. Okay, so now uh, I have the home here, I have the header, and I also have the uh, service called message service which is here okay and it's called the message service here so now the first thing what I'm going to do is in an app dot the HTML and an app component here in HTML I'm going to put my header app dot header and the second one I'm going to put my app dot uh, home so once I put the app.header and app.home, it's going to show me the header works and home works, which is fine. So I will go back to my header here on this is header. So I'm going to create here a div called a header class. On this one, I'm going to type an input. And I'm going to return a template reference variable called uh, the food here. So on this food, I'm going to now create another button here. And this button is basically uh, it's a send uh, message save right so whenever we click this button send message then it's gonna uh, change the value on home uh, home component so basically it send a message from headers to home okay so now on header class maybe maybe i'll put some the border here one pixel one pixel so lead and Yes, gray, uh, I mean gray color and give a padding at a uh, 10 pixel. So now I'll say some uh, of the uh, border here, which is okay, which looks a little better. So now I, I need to send some message here on uh, the food called pizza. And when I send it now, it should send this message to home okay so i'll go in my home here so i don't have anything in home so now let's create some uh, services here we already create a service but let's write some subject on service so this is going to be a message service and in the message service i'm going to create a new uh, subject here and this is going to be a new subject and the type of the subject is going to be uh, nothing else but a string and I'm going to send this and I need to import this subject from uh, new subject. Did you mean this subject? Oh, I mean, I created the same exact name there. That's why it's giving a complaint. So I need to import this subject from RxJx. I already imported here, which is okay. So now let me uh, uh, write two functions here. The func function is a send message this is uh, basically it just send a message using a subject so i can use uh, this the subject dot next function on the next i could provide any subject here so i'll just provide as a message and message is coming from my uh, function here and this type is going to be of course going to be a string so once i send this once i send this message here I mean, once in this message here, now I need to create another function called received message, and this message will not uh, need do not do not need any uh, parameter, but it will return observable, and it will return observable of a string. So I should create as a string, and subject will return as observable, and I need to put this as return here. 
so basically now this function will send the message using the subject and this mass this function will uh, get the uh, message using this subject okay so once i already i need to send this using uh the subject the message service which i created so i will go back to my header component on ts file now i will go directly on the header html but i don't have any event here so i'll click like click event and basically it just send a message okay and it send this uh the template uh, reference variable on on the send message okay and i need to create this send message here and i got this message here and now i need to also uh, use that services which recently created called message service so i will import the message service in my uh, constructor here message service uh, so i'll just double check my name yep it is a message service so i'll go here in my header component and i write that I need to import it. It doesn't know where it's coming from, so I'll need to import the message service here. So message service is coming from the uh, services, uh, not from services, but directly inside the message service here. So now I could use this uh, the message service. So message service that basically is going to send it, and it just require one parameter called message. So now whenever I click the button here, whenever I put any variable here, click the button, it's already sending a message, but it's not receiving by anyone. So I need to create a receiving part on my home component here. So here is a home works. So instead of home works, you know what? I'm gonna only create a call message here. So it doesn't know what is the message at this time, but I will go here and I will create a message here. And message is going to be string. And I'm gonna use the same exact uh, the service here, and it's going to be a message service. And this message service is also I need to import from my uh, service which I created here. So on ng on init, what I can do is on ng I could register my message service of function which I created inside the service, and that's called the receive function mes uh, message. And receive function will return the observable. So I could do a subscribe here. So once I do a subscribe, then I could get the data here. And once I get this data, then I could bind this data with my message here directly. So now if I do a test, then, okay, I see our HTML input element here, which is not so good. The reason why is when I send the message from template here, then I send as a template itself. So here it's sending a template, but instead of this, I should send a food dot value here. So now if I click a test here, then it's going to send me a test right if i send a pizza and i send it now i can see a pizza here at all so this is how you can send a message from one component to another one using a subject and now i'm going to show you guys the what's the behavior subject so now it's sending a data from one of home headers to home so when i refresh at first time it doesn't send anything when i click and send one it already send it, it's gonna send when i click this button but we could send as a, an initial state as well right so in a message here when we create the subject but instead of subject maybe we could we could also create a behavior subject but when we create a behavior subject then we should provide the initial state here the initial state string here called burger if we send a burger then when it refresh at first time initial state then it's going to be written as a burger similarly like a react state when you create at uh, when you provide the data at first time initial state then it's gonna render that data uh, and if you provide any data here then it's gonna change that data with the data what we provided on using the behavior subject okay and another and more most important part is also once you are done with this subscription once you are do with subs subscription i could also bind this with the subscription and whenever you destroy your component you should always it's better to do uh unsubscribe okay so i'm not gonna do it here on subscribe but when you ng on implement 
on destroy then I need to import on destroy so whenever it's going to destroy then just unsubscribe okay so it's it's a it's a uh, it will helps you to clean up the the memory leak so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys learned something and i'm gonna put this code on github and if you like my videos please do not forget to like or subscribe and thank you very much for watching bye for now